everyone, thank you for tuning in again. My name is Melissa Morell, for those of you who don't know me, and I am a personal stylist for the everyday woman. I tend to pride myself on styling for real lives rather than fantasy lives, so be that coffee with friends, working in a cold office, just really sort of practical styling. And um, today's video is no different um, because I mentioned in one of my last videos that I thought I could style some items up but then change the style based on different people's body shapes. So that's what I'm bringing you today. So how I structured this is I've taken sort of, I think there's about seven, eight, nine outfits, something like that, that I wore all of last week for all of my different sort of work commitments, home commitments, etc. And I am going to show you what I wore and then I'm going to change it up and show you if I had a tummy, this is what I would do, or if I had narrow shoulders, this is what I would do. And hopefully some of it relates to you guys. Um, and you can see how it's really easy Easy to still have the same style but just change it for your body shape. Like always if you could press that subscribe button it really does help me out or even the thumbs up is always nice. I love to read your comments as you've probably seen I do get back to as many people as I can and yes I do online styling. In fact thank you to all of you who have booked me. Um, it's amazing I'm getting to speak to all of you all over the world and I absolutely love it. Um, I'll put the details down below so you know how to get in contact with me. I nearly forgot to say, I do have a date now for the YouTube Live. It's going to be on Sunday the 27th of February at 7 p.m. UK time. So um, I know there's a lot of you in America, a lot of you are eight hours behind us, some five hours behind us. So hopefully that time allows as many of you as possible to join. Um, just a heads up, never done one before, haven't got a clue what I'm going to do. Um, I just thought we'd probably do some sort of question and answer session. I'll stay here in the studio so I can pick clothes out and um, sort of demonstrate any of your questions that you have. Um, but I'd love for you to join me. So it's your chance to ask me as much as you want to ask me and um, yeah, look forward to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with this suit that I am wearing right now. So this is from Zara, the whole thing. Um, everything is always listed and linked in the description box. So um, please have a look there if you want to know all the codes. So I've paired it today with my platform converse. Um, the reason I put the platform on is obviously to give me an extra bit of leg length. And I have got it on with just a t-shirt, again from Zara, but this t-shirt has got shoulder pads already built in. So the reason I have paired it with that on myself is because I am a little bit hippier around here. So for my body shape being sort of in between a pair and an hourglass, if I am wearing, even though they're sort of a baggier trouser down here, they're still quite tight fitting up here. Um, so if I've got a tight trouser up here, I need to balance out my shoulders by making them a little bit wider, which is why I have picked this t-shirt. Another thing to note with the fit of these trousers is that when I do go for a baggier trouser round here, I like to make sure that it's really quite tight up on my waist area because that's my smallest part. So I like them quite fitting on the back side. In fact, I think these, these are a size extra small, which I never am in Zara. Um, but I think this sort of, um, this type of trouser is coming up a little bit bigger anyway. But I want to show that thinnest part of me, which is why I tuck my t-shirt in like that, so that you can see it's thin and then the wide trousers uh, bag out like that. However, that might not work for you if you're carrying a little bit of extra weight around here. So let me change it up to show you what I would do if um, I had more thickness around the middle. Okay, so the first thing I've done is just really simply change my t-shirt. So I haven't got the shoulder pads in any longer, um, normal round neck t-shirt. And obviously if you wanted to, you could just have that hanging out and hopefully it will disguise any area there. What I would do, even if you've got a tummy, um, as I was showing some of my online clients earlier on today, um, is I would just tuck it in a little bit there, like that. 
Then I would wear the jacket over. I've got the jacket on, I've created a long line right the way through my torso. Um, you could add a long necklace down here as well and that would also break up the torso line because that's essentially what you're trying to do. Now if I go to the side here, you can see that it's my jacket sticking out. And you will find that, I'm not saying you won't notice your own belly when you look down, you probably will. But from the side and from front on, nobody will see that thickening around there. However, taking that a step further, often people might be broader on top, maybe on the chest area, so can't wear a high neck t-shirt like this. So let's see what we would do in that situation. Okay, so to demonstrate this next point, I have just done something and I'm in two minds about it. So please do let me know if it comes across as offensive because that is the last thing I want to do. Um, but I've added a bit of extra sort of a weight around this tummy area for myself, just using a scarf. And I just want to be able to demonstrate to you that if you had a jumper on like this, that's got the V-neck, so that's going to break up the bust area here. The sleeves are three quarters, so they're not ending here. If they ended, say, there, like that, that is going to make anybody who is broader on top broader. But because the sleeves continue down further, that won't add to any breadth across there. And then just leaving the jumper out like that, and now you can't see that additional area. But equally, if I just tuck that in a little bit, so you can see it's the slightest bit, and then I create this sort of uh, U-shape there, you can't see it that much there either. Can you see that? I really hope that's coming across on the video. Um, I'm not going to do this again in case um, there's an outcry and um, it's deemed as not appropriate. But if you don't mind me adding a little bit of extra bulk to be able to prove a point to you or show you how something could work with a stomach, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you can now see that tummy or not. I'd suggest that, you know, the tummy is not going to go away, but we're just talking about distraction. So can you see it as much as you could see it before? Um, this is probably then how I would be sitting in my studio. Um, it's adding a really nice cozy jumper. This is from Ted Baker. And again, with these trousers, because of the reasons I said before of wanting to balance my hips out, then I would pick something with um, big shoulders like this to balance me out. Once again, it might not be appropriate that you are wearing either a high neck or the extra shoulders. So all I would simply do is grab a jumper like this, which has got the big deep V-neck. This is from Zara. Um, I showed this in another video. I'll put a photograph up there. And I think that would look equally as nice with this sort of outfit. And don't remember. And you can also finish this look up with a nice coat. Um, this coat is incredibly similar to the jigsaw coat that I have shown a lot. However, it was only £50 and it was from H&M. And then I wore the same suit out in the evening to an event and all I did was add a little bit of texture with this fluffy top. It's really, really old. It was from uh, Topshop. In the texture to this suit just helps elevate it that little bit. And then I've paired it with a really small kitten heel, again from Zara, but they are quite old. A nude heel to help elongate my frame. Um, and yes, I have taken the trousers up. I had to take them up by a good two inches. Always make sure that you take your trousers up based on the shoes that you think you're going to wear with that outfit. So I knew I was going to want to wear my platform um, Converse, which are about the same, a little bit smaller perhaps than that heel, heel or that heel. I haven't done the suit just for massive big heels because quite frankly, I can't walk in big heels anymore anyway. 
Um, and here's an idea for how you could elevate this outfit again but if you couldn't wear a top like this and you didn't want to show this area. So if you picked up a nice blouse like this, it's got some really nice detail, but you can obviously have this open as much as you want. And the silk nature there will just hang really nice over that suit and would look really, really nice um, either tucked in or left out but it's picking an item with a nicer fabric to take you in the evening with a pair of heels um, that will really make this suit really versatile for you. Okay so next we are changing gears completely we're going to look at gym wear and I feel very brave standing here in mine. Um, this set is from All Phoenix by the way and I tend to favour all Phoenix, which is an Australian brand. I love Lululemon, but I find the tops too tight on me actually. And when I go up, they don't fit that well, but I do love their pants. Um, I also like Andola. Um, I'll link some of these brands for you. But the key when I'm buying gym wear is that for me, I always buy either a coordinated top like I've got on right now, or a top in a very similar colorway. And the reason that I do that is so that I can sort of see parts of the top and the bottom when I've got a jumper on and it helps bring it all together. Um, but I'm definitely not going to be walking around the shops like this. So I wanted to show you how I would build this up so that I can leave the house in it, but also dependent on your body shape, how I would build it up. So let's get started like with this. That. So the first one I've got is a cashmere jumper and it's a V-neck. Okay, so if you are broader on top, this V-neck is going to be brilliant because it's going to help separate this down. And this is the type of jumper where when you have got a matching top and bottom on, it looks really nice with this sort of shoulder detail showing. And you've got a couple of options here. We can tuck this in if you're feeling brave enough and you can use your um, bra to do that, like that. Or if you're not feeling brave enough around this sort of either your tummy area or your thigh area, then you can simply let that one go. Now, I think when you do let it go, but your top is showing like that, it still looks really nice. And there's no reason why I run, wouldn't run to the shops like that. Um, but we're still in cold weather here, so I still need to build that up even further. Okay, so all I've done here is, first of all, I've changed my top just to show you an alternative how. This is the knitted um, cashmere from Lily Silk. I do have a code for them, um, which is beautiful, but it's in a hoodie. So I quite like the idea of the hoodie hanging over like a nicer, smarter coat. Um, but equally, I could have kept the V-neck on. I just wanted to show you a different alternative. So now we're ready for the shop okay I'm totally covered up nobody can see any lumps and bumps so I feel comfortable I'm happy to be in gym gear and relaxed but it still looks okay the final alternative look is to add a blazer okay so if you're in a hotter country then this could have been rather than the cashmere jumper it could be you know a very small little sort of vest top of some sort but this blazer which is just a linen blazer so it's very lightweight um, but when I've mixed it with the cashmere, it gives me enough for the UK as well. Um, but putting that blazer on and changing my shoes up for just sort of more of a fashion shoe as opposed to my Nike training shoe, then that gives that a really nice casual look. But again, it's, it's just like wearing a pair of leggings and a jumper, but actually the reality is you're ready for the gym underneath it. If I want to lengthen my leg length, I can just pull that up a little bit. Um, but if I want to cover a tummy up, then the blazer is helping to shape me even though my jumper is hanging out. So another type of jumper that is really, really good to go with gym leggings, especially if you're conscious of around this midsection and or your broad on top is this. A deep ribbed waistband here that almost creates a longer waist for yourself. Can you see, if that was just sort of a normal jumper like that, I look very sort of straight up, straight down. With this rib, you can almost create your own waistline because you just pull it over a little bit like that. 
In addition to that, you have got these ribs on the wrists, okay? So they're really tight up the first part of the wrists. So that makes it look really, really narrow. So you've got the narrowing element of the, the waistband here and you've got the narrowing element on your wrists. Both combined do a really, really good job at creating the hourglass um, figure for you. So, I... so next we're moving on to jeans. And the jeans I've picked today are these jeans from Mother, which are an American brand. Um, so that should please some of you Americans out there that have actually picked one of your brands. I love the fit of them. They are a little bit more expensive, but I just think they fit really, really nicely. And the style that I've chosen today is probably next to the bootcut jean is the most versatile for pretty much all of the body shapes. But one of the keys to wearing these if you are carrying extra weight around your middle is to line it with a t-shirt like this. Okay, what this allows us to do is to create a narrower space, just like we were doing with the jumper in the gym wear earlier on. It also freshens that look up between this sweatshirt and the white band. Look at the difference when I take that band away. Okay, there's your look. The jumper that I've got on is from H&M. Um, I particularly like this because it's really casual, it's nice and bright. We're getting into um, spring and it's just nice to have a little bit of colour. But again, I appreciate that some of you aren't going to want to wear a high neck. So let's have a look at what we could put with these jeans that gives kind of that similar sort of casual vibe. Okay, so if you can't wear a high neck jumper like that, or maybe you're in a warmer climate and need something a little bit lighter, I've just swapped it out for a really casual shirt. But the first thing I'm going to show you is that this shirt is a lot bigger and baggier. So the first thing I'm going to do is change my shoes. So at the moment, can you see I've got a Converse on? Um, but you can't see my ankles in any way. So I'm feeling sort of like it's all a, quite a bit overwhelming on me. So first of all, I'm going to change them for a shoe where you can see my ankles, my slimmest part. And then overall, that will have a more slimming effect. Okay, so that's step one to show my ankles. Now, we're assuming here that we're wearing a, um, a top like this because we're wanting to cover a little bit of this area up here or because it's a lighter fabric for a more summer conditions. So, you know what I'm going to do. I'm still going to tuck it in, but I am really going to pull it out everywhere. So, even if I had a big tummy down here right now, the shirt would actually still be covering it up. And the fact that I have hired the shirt up and not just let it hang at my widest point, which is around the thigh area, um, that's going to benefit a shape like a pear shape as well. So a shirt like this is really, really good for actually for most shapes. One thing I would say though, is if you are broad on top because of your bust, you must then use some shoulder pads here. The reason it works is because when you've got a big bust here, you automatically look broader than you are, but often your shoulders remain small. If we can then increase the width of your shoulder, it's going to make that bust area not necessarily look smaller, but it's going to look more in proportion with your shoulders and not like it's all coming from here. So I'll just show you these um, shoulder pads that I use first of all. They're from a company called Prim. And what they have on the top is a piece of Velcro. Can you see that? So that allows me to put my bra strap under the vel Velcro and then Velcro it back down like that. Now do make sure that you put these in the right way around. I made a mistake on one of my videos. I swear to God, I have never lived it down. Obviously the thinner end goes towards your neck with the thicker end going out towards your shoulder. 
So the end result is I've still got a really casual look just like the blue jumper that I had on uh, but this time I'm wearing a shirt and then this is suitable for pretty much any shape actually. And sticking with these mother jeans for the moment I've just paired it with a different type of top to show you again how you can elevate it from um, sort of more of a nice I don't know coffee with friends or something. So at the moment I've got it on with this top from Aspiga. They're a really beautiful British brand that um, are incredibly sustainable and very ethical um, and they do some really, really gorgeous pieces. If you've seen one of my other videos, I was wearing like a green dress from them. Um, I do have a discount code um, that I can pop in the description for you as well. But this one is great for me because it's doing all the broadening for me at the top um, and it's balancing out the bigger G. You wear a slightly baggier trouser down here, just like when we were talking about the pink trousers at the start. I do like to make sure that they come really tight up here on the waist. Now that's not going to be um, helpful perhaps if you have got a big waist area but don't worry you could wear this sort of top sort of hanging out as well and if you do just a little bit of a tuck maybe on the side there just so you get a little bit of the leg, leg lift that will then cover this tummy area up for you. But even better than that would be a similar type of anglaise type of top, but one with a v-neck like this. Okay, so it's very similar. This one was from Zara last year, but the v-neck is going to help separate that area and won't make you feel as wide as this type of top. So next we've actually got the item that I suppose sparked the idea for this video, which is this jumpsuit from Reese. Now the first thing to say is that I have ordered the equivalent jumpsuit from Mango. I'm literally waiting for the postman to deliver it right now. So if he delivers it before the end of this video, I will put a side to side comparison, but it is a fraction of the cost and it looks very similar in the picture, but we'll have to see what the reality of how it fits and whether I choose one over the other because I've still kept the tags into this one. So as you might remember, this is a full sort of Charlie's Angels denim suit. And I said in the last video, I'm a very aware that if you have much of a size differentiation between your top and your bottom, then a suit like this isn't going to work for you. So how do we get a very similar look by changing either the style of the piece or by um, combining two different pieces together? So here's how I went about it. Okay, so for the most obvious route, it's going to be another type of jumpsuit, but a lot more of a baggier version. It literally starts like this, so plenty of room everywhere, gather it up, create your own waist, so obviously pulling in as tight or as much as you want. And then you've got a lot more of a baggier version of the same type of suit. If you're in a hotter country, the fabric is really, really light. So anybody who wants to add a little bit of volume around here, but equally sort of wants to draw their waist in, but needs all this to reduce this upper frame. It's a really, really great alternative. I'd say a boiler suit like this is going to suit more shapes than not. And if you wanted to create a nice thin line over it, so let's say you're still perhaps a little bit conscious from the side there, then you could just add a, a long line like that. But if it really is that sort of Charlie's Angel type of look that you're looking to create, then just simply create it with two pieces. So I've got on a denim shirt and just some denim flared um, jeans. A good tip here is if you want them really matching, so proper sort of double de denim, but exactly the same color, so it almost looks like you've got a boiler suit on, go to the same shop and buy your denim shirt and your jeans from the same shop. Often the excess fabric from the jeans is used on the shirt so you get exactly the same colorways. Um, but this... So next I wanted to talk about skirts. Now skirts can be a little bit tricky if you are carrying weight around your middle section 
or if you're particularly big on the thigh area as well. So let me start off by showing you a pleated skirt. Pleated skirts, in fact, lots of midi skirts are all going to be back in fashion um, this year. So at the moment, I'm wearing the one that you might have seen that I bought from Zara a couple of days ago on my last Come Shopping With Me. I'll put a link up there. So I've just, I've just kept the denim shirt on that I had a moment ago, and I've put it with some longer boots. Now, pleated skirts aren't actually very forgiving. If you've got a bigger midsection around here, you'll see a distortion of the pleats, which won't look very nice. And if you've got really big hips here, it will make you look more tense like. So if you're like me and your smallest part on your frame is your tummy, I personally wouldn't wear anything that's big and baggy down here because I'm just going to add all the volume. So what I would try and do is have a top like the denim one right now that is going up in this U shape to show this smallest part of my waist. Then I can almost afford to have the extra volume around here. Um, I'll show you some pictures of when I wore it with a big jumper as well. So whilst I've got a dress on, it's actually the skirt part of the dress that I want to show you because I haven't got many other examples of this. But if you are carrying some extra weight around your tummy area, anything that's kind of got a sash or a gathering effect around here really helps. Um, and I noticed that this dress was probably one of my most worn dresses last summer and they're doing it again this year in Reese. They've just got it in different colorways and it was excellent. It does stretch, however. Um, it's a linen fabric, so great for anybody in a hotter country. There is one other style of skirt that I wanted to show you if you're carrying a bit of weight around here, but I don't actually have one. It's sort of packed away in most of my summer stuff. So I'm gonna put some pictures at the side here for you of some other suggestions. So if you're more of a pear shape, so heavier down this bottom area, you might want to consider more of a pencil figure hug type of skirt um, but the ones that are really really good are the pencil skirts like this but they've got a slight kick out at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to make that out because my boots are the same color. So um, let me start by changing my boots so you can see it full length. Okay, so I took that opportunity to change my shoes just to a little pointed um, mini heel and then to change my jumper as well. So the reason I changed my jumper is because I've gone for a tight skirt down here, which is showing my figure. And because I'm a little bit heavier here, I need to balance it out on top. Hence this jumper that has got the extra weight throughout the shoulders. Even with a big jumper on like this though, I try and show my waistline. If I was to pull this jumper down and just have it at its full length, sort of more like that, you can see it becomes less flattering as a whole outfit. Okay, and the final piece to show you today are these masculine trousers that I wear these all the time. They're from Zara um, and it's kind of mixing the masculine and the feminine pieces together to create quite a cool look. Now, my honest advice with this is the reason people can get away with a bigger, wider pant around here is when they show off a smaller waist. So I always make sure that my t-shirts are tucked in and even if I've got quite a sort of a more masculine t-shirt like this on, as long as I have shown my small waist, then they seem to work. Um, and I've just paired them with some loafers today, but I often just wear them with my Converse and just a normal t-shirt or maybe even that Ted Baker jumper that I wore earlier on. But if your stomach area doesn't allow you to show off your waist like that, I would go carefully with these trousers. Either I would wear a blazer over the top or something over the top but that allows you to go up like that but sort of hide it from the sides. Or I would wear a t-shirt but I probably wouldn't wear it like that. Because when I wear it like that, you can see, I just look completely oblong and shapeless. 
So if you can just create a little bit of a lift like that, even if it's at the side, then brilliant, wear them. But if you find you can't create any uplift, I would say stay away from the masculine trouser because they'll just make you overall look a lot bigger. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, as I mentioned earlier, if you could press that subscribe button, I would be really, really great. If anybody does want some online styling or obviously face-to-face, -face, if you are in and around Wiltshire, Hampshire, Oxfordshire type of area, then I would love to hear from you. And I will see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.